the salaries of A, B and C are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5, if the increments of 15%, 10% and 20% are allowed respectively in their salaries, what will be the new ratio of their salaries? Now we have been given the ratios of A, B and C as 2 is to 3 is to 5. So I can say that A is equals to 2x, B is equals to 3x and C is equals to 5x and x being a common factor of a, b and c. Now let us say that a1, b1 and c1 be the new salaries of a, b and c after incrementing their salaries. And we have to calculate the ratio of these new salaries. So let us calculate the new salary of a. It is a 15% increase in the previous salary. So 100 plus 15% of a which is 115 percent means divided by 100 times the previous salary which is 2x and this will come out as 23 by 10x when you cancel out terms and solve this. Now let us calculate B's new salary. It is a 10 percent increment in the previous salary. So 110 percent of 3x and when you solve this B salary will be equals to 33 by 10 x. Now let's calculate C salary. It is a 20 percent increase in 5 x. So 120 upon 100 times 5 x and it will be equal to 60 by 10 x. I have purposely not cancelled the terms here. Now we have to calculate the ratio of new salaries. So A1 is to B1 is to C1 is equals to 23x by 10 is to 33x by 10 is to 60x by 10. Well this x always get cancelled out and if I multiply the all of the three terms by 10 these tens will also get cancelled out and essentially the ratio will also not change. So we have 23 is to 33 is to 60 as the ratio of their new salaries. So option C is the correct answer. If rupees 782 be divided into 3 parts proportional to 1 by 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 3 by 4, then what is the first part? Well, let us simplify this given ratio. So the given ratio can be simplified to we can take the LCM of the denominators which is 12 so 1 by 2 times 12 is to 2 by 3 times 12 is to 3 by 4 times 12. Remember this property of ratio where you multiply all of the terms in the ratio with a common term does not change the value of the ratio. So I can safely multiply 12 here. So 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So this ratio is essentially 6 is to 8 is to 9. Now consider these as strings, these parts as strings. So the first string is 6 centimeter long, the second string is 8 centimeter long and the third string is 9 centimeter long. Right, 6, 8 and 9. So the total length of this string is 6 plus 8 plus 9 which is 23 parts. Right, so this is a 23 centimeter long string and actually you want the first part. Now assume that these rupees are some sort of a string and out of this string you want the first part which is 6 parts out of 23 parts. Right. The value of the first part is equal to we have 782 rupees times now we want 6 parts out of 23 parts so times 6 by 23 and this will give you the amount that is divided or that is given to the first part and this value will come out as 204 when you solve it. So we have the option D as the correct answer. Two numbers are in the ratio of 3 to 5. If 9 is subtracted from each, 
The new numbers are in the ratio of 12 is to 23. What is the smaller number? Well, the numbers are in the ratio of 3 is to 5. So I can say that the two numbers are 3x and 5x and x is a common factor between those two numbers. Now 9 is subtracted from each of these numbers and the ratio becomes 12 by 23. So 3x minus 9 divided by 5x minus 9 gives you 12 by 23. And we have 3x times 23 that is 69x minus 23 times 9 is 207 which is equal to 12 times 5 is 60x minus 12 times 9 is 108. So we have 69x minus 60x which is 9x is equal to 207 minus 108 which gives you 99. Therefore x is equal to 99 by 9 which is 11. So we found out the common factor between those two numbers. So we want the smaller number which is this. So 3x is equal to 3 times 11 and that is 33. So the smaller number is 33. So option B is the correct answer. Two numbers are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. If 7 is added to both, the ratio changes to 3 is to 5. What is the greatest number? Now this one is also similar to the previous question that we solved. Solve this. Well, the two numbers are in the ratio of 1 is to 2. So I can say that the numbers are 1x and 2x and x being the common factor between those two numbers. Now 7 are added to both and the ratio becomes 3 is to 5. So 1x plus 7 divided by that means the ratio of 1x plus 7 and 2x plus 7 becomes 3 is to 5. So 3 by 5. So I have 5x plus 35 that means 7 times 5 is 35 equal to 3 times 2 so 6x plus 21 so we have 35 minus 21 is equal to 6x minus 5x therefore I can say that x is equals to 35 minus 21 is 14 so x's value that means the common factors value is 14 what is the greater number so greater number is 2x. So 2x is equals to 2 times 14 and that is 28. So option C is the correct answer.